Friends, Kyle here, Grand Bay Marine on the all new Regal 36 Grand Coupe. And if you're looking for a boat that'll kind of do it all day boat, harbor hop, overnight, entertain this is the boat. And so, we're going to do a quick walkthrough starting on this platform. We're going to go all the way to the bow of the boat, down beneath. Look at the sleeping quarters and everything that this amazing boat has to offer here in this walkthrough. So no better place to start than right here on the swim platform, which is huge. This is uh, a dance floor, really. Lots of space. One of the things that I love is that it's right down at the water level. So getting in and out of this boat, hanging your feet off the swim platform, swimming around here couldn't be any easier. You've got a telescoping stainless steel ladder that's hidden beneath this locker hatch here. Uh, I love the fact that they think of everything. Cleats. Uh, if you've ever tied a boat up at the marina, you know that having multiple places to tie off is really critical. It can make your life a whole lot easier and keep your boat safe from being scratched up or rubbing against the dock or weathering a storm. But having these cleats is really a game changer. Uh, they're reinforced and located on the corners of the swim platform here. But again, just an expansive swim platform. Uh, love the space on here. You got two 30 amp hookups here, your cable TV and fresh water. And more large stainless steel cleats here uh, that give you uh, multiple places to tie up. Now one of the things that we're gonna talk about here as we're exploring the back of this boat is just the versatility of this boat. If there's uh, one key word or phrase that's gonna get used over and over, its versatility. And this is a slide away seat. And right now we've got it in the forward position, but it'll slide back 11 inches to give us more room in the cockpit. But if you're just entertaining on the back of the boat, spending time using the swim platform, it's nice to be able to slide the seat forward and give you extra square footage back here. But while cruising, you don't necessarily need all that space back there. So at the touch of a button, this seat will slide back and give you more functional cockpit space, making it easier to get in and out of the bench seat here uh, while you're cruising down the lake. One thing I forgot to mention while on the swim platform is this seat back actually uh, with uh, this lever here will uh, articulate and face backwards, giving you uh, not only the swim platform to hang out and entertain, but also this convenient reverse facing lounger again, to enjoy everything that's going on out in the lake. But pushing that back forward, you can see just a lot of, lots of room here in this aft seating area. Uh, teak table, that's an option that we picked, and this is great because you can locate it here on the um, aft portion of the boat or in the cockpit itself. Beautiful teak table, and I just, uh, I you can't tell from the video, but I love the smell of teak that uh, has been uh, freshly stained, and so it says, uh, it's got a great smell, great look to it as well. But this table here, I'm gonna just remove this so you can appreciate all of the space here inside this aft uh, seating area here. There's lots of seating options. And this little seat here is great, right? You can look uh, and see what's going on inside the cockpit. You can face the aft portion here. You've got sun coverage underneath the fiberglass hardtop here. And if you have the canvas installed, it's actually a great place to uh, sit back here and uh, during a boat ride, visibility here as well. Moving over to the starboard side, got the electric grill. And this is not just any electric grill, but it's a smokeless grill as well. Uh, if you lift up under this grate here, you'll notice that uh, the way this is designed is that the heating element actually goes underneath these channels here so that uh, any drippings from whatever it is you're cooking up, don't um, uh, flame up and cause a big smoke uh, screen here in the cockpit. It's a great design. More storage under here. You've got uh, your grill top, uh, which is stainless steel, and then you've got a garbage can there. House battery management systems conveniently located in the back here. As you can see, uh, this is great location for that. It's all push button, by the way. Backlit with LED lights. 
but located here in the app portion of the boat, as it's probably the first or last thing you're gonna do while getting in and out of this boat. Finally, you can see LED lights that are sort of uh, spread around the boat here. Uh, that comes with our high performance stereo package and you can see fusion audio speakers that are lit all over the place, everywhere you look. And then you've also got a really convenient remote here that you can kind of throw in your pocket and carry with you here. But this is where uh, that would stow. In a moment, we're gonna head into the cockpit and pick up uh, the rest of our tour. Maybe my second most favorite feature in the 36 Grand Coupe as we're surveying the cockpit here, in addition to the glass doors, is the beam-to-beam -beam retractable hardtop. Uh, Regal was the first to market with this concept, but at the touch of a button, this hardtop will retract all the way forward and all the way back here, giving you uh, the ability to open this boat up at a moment's notice or uh, when it starts to cloud up and look like rain, you can shut this top, close down the boat, and be safe and protected. Just love this feature here. One other thing, um, I've driven a lot of boats, a lot of different manufacturers, and this isn't uh, new to the industry in the sense that uh, nobody else has it. But what I will say is that Regal's hardtops are among the quietest hardtops that I've ever driven under speed and in rough conditions. Uh, many of our competitors, uh, this is open or even when it's shut, you hear so many creaks and things moving around and uh, things rubbing. But this hard top, um, this glass window here on the side, the enclosed glass uh, enclosure here in the aft, it's all really, really quiet and adds to that sort of luxury feel when you're driving the boat. A couple other ergonomic details here I don't want to miss is this sliding glass window here. And this is great. Uh, easy to open and easy to shut. But where I really like this is when docking. And as you get a little bit closer into the marina, uh, maybe uh, you've got a dock hand standing on the dock with dock lines, calling out distances and helping you uh, bring the boat in. I love that you can very easily look out this window and get great visibility to try and judge the distance and the speed that you're coming into. So uh, nice little touch, but for the captain, you're gonna really like this feature here. Now, this entertainment area here. Now, most of the boat manufacturers today have uh, picked up on this galley up design. It really adds um, a big social factor to uh, entertaining inside the boat. And Regal, I think they just do it exceptionally well. Uh, they've always done a good job with an entertaining space uh, above uh, on the top deck. But this just kind of takes it to a new level. We've got the retractable TV here, and uh, just at a touch of a button, this TV can come up or down. And I just love this. Your friend's getting on the boat, and they see you drop the TV or retract it up into its uh, uh, a hidden position here. It's just a really nice touch. Got a uh, sink here that opens up and gives you the ability to wash glasses or dishes here. Garbage, which is great, great size, nice size garbage can here. Burner, and then uh, extra countertops so you can put this over the burner here or over top of the grill, giving you, again, endless countertop space here. In storage, they haven't left any detail unturned here when it comes to storage. Lots of places to put uh, either cooking utensils or just items that you want to have on the boat permanently. Standard gives you the option of two fridges or uh, a fridge and a freezer here, which is great. And then storage here underneath the settee. All right, lots to go over here in the cockpit. So we're going to start with what's probably my favorite option on this boat. It was a game changer from the 35 to the 36. Um, and that is the optional sliding glass doors here. Now, you, if you opt to uh, leave these out, there's gonna be a, a social seat that reclines similar to this one right here, uh, back and forth in its place. But uh, for us here in Northern Michigan, where uh, one day it's 80 degrees and the next might be 50 degrees, this really does change 
uh, the dynamic of this boat, allowing us to heat and cool and really temperature regulate the cockpit. But this is how quickly and easily you can shut these doors and not only make sure that you've got this temperature controlled, but you'd be amazed once these doors shut and you're underway, you can have a normal, quiet conversation with uh, anybody who's uh, in the party that day. You'd be shocked just how much engine noise that it drowns out. It's really whisper quiet in here. You can carry on a, a conversation, listen to music, have food or snacks out and not be interrupted by uh, the engine noise outside, wind whipping through here. It really is a game changer and takes this boat to the next level. Just love this. And then just as quickly as you shut it off, you can open these doors back up and enjoy the outdoors here. Love this little touch too, this window. As you can see, it flows down at the touch of a button and then combines both countertop spaces for when you're entertaining. The teak table that we talked about earlier that was uh, located out here in the aft area, I've moved now into the cockpit just to give you an idea of how well it fits this space uh, as well. Again, giving you lots of room to sit, uh, relax, and have places to put drinks or snacks out. Now, uh, we should shift our attention and, to the cockpit and where the driver is going to sit. And I think that they spent a lot of time designing this area. Of course, Regal's been building sport coupes and yachts for many, many years. And so they have a lot of experience, not only with what their customers like, but how they function in the field and uh, what the best approach to designing a cockpit is. So they really thought of everything here. And you can see, in addition to it being beautiful, just to look at uh, ergonomically, it makes a lot of sense. You've got this teak step here uh, that functions. So when you're sitting on the seat, you can use it like a leaning post. I'll kind of demonstrate that here. You can sit up here, put your feet, and have a place to rest. If you flip up the bolster seat here, and then it kind of functions like a center console or uh, the leaning post style seating where you can lean back here uh, and comfortably guide the boat, watch all of what's going on in your chart plotter uh, or your radar system. But multiple places to sit, sit in this boat and pilot it. One of the other things I like is this step that folds in and out of place here. Again, uh, for taller drivers that would like some more headspace, uh, gives you the ability to uh, stand here and have lots of, I'm, I'm not quite six foot, so it gives you quite a bit of headspace here uh, to spare. But again, looking here at the ergonomics, I love where they put the joystick. It is in the perfect location because not only can you pilot the boat in the forward position, but when you're docking and you're turned around, uh, it's, it's really in the right spot. So that you got great visibility here looking to the aft and you don't have to crane around your arm behind your back to get to the joystick. Now, many of our competitors, they don't think this through when they're, when they're placing the joystick and it's just not in a very convenient location uh, for docking. Love the throttle controls. Again, they're in a great place here. Uh, you've got great visibility to the EVC program here and all of the buttons uh, that go along with the EVC system. Huge 16 inch heads up displays here in the glass cockpit. Uh, these are Garmin touch screens, very easy to navigate. Um, and I will say, I have driven this boat uh, under natural lighting out on a sunny day, and the contrast is unbelievable. You can see everything. Uh, you don't have to change the tint or kind of cup your hands around it to get a good visibility, but you can see just like uh, you're seeing in the video now, just great contrast and visibility uh, to your gauges or your stereo or your chart plotter. Nice touch is this backlit. You can see kind of this LED reflection uh, in the background. But again, just adding that luxury touch to everything that they do. I love this. Not to leave this part out, but you've got a nice wireless charger here for your phone, an air conditioning or heater duct here, uh, speaker, and cup holders. So. The captain is going to be very, very comfortable in the cockpit here while piloting the 36 Grand Coupe. Okay, down below deck, you're going to be impressed, not only with the headroom, but the storage, 
the fit and finish and detail. We got a queen size bed up here, and I love the two walkthrough alleys on the side, making it really easy to get in and out of this bed, uh, especially when there's two people and uh, you don't have to climb over one another to get out of this bed. Great storage space though. Again, for this size boat, I'm just amazed at how many places you have to store your goods. We've got a cedar lined cabinet here for your hanging goods. And again, uh, storage space here on the bed. You've got another locker up top here, which is awesome. And then check this out. We're gonna lift this mattress and then underneath this gas assist, you've got a huge trunk underneath. Now that's the radar dome and the, uh, the bracket that holds that in place. But uh, again, lots of space here to store your stowables. Uh, incidentally, there's your uh, vacuum. So you've got a uh, in-house vacuum here that you get to uh, hook up the hoses to, to clean the boat. USB and phone charger. You've got uh, on both sides here. And again, I just like the, the detail here, how you've got everything kind of backlit. It's just really gorgeous. It's also got a nice Samsung flat screen TV for those evenings where you just want to watch a little TV okay, in the aft sleeping quarters. I love how multi-dimensional this is. It's a great place to come and sit. Again, great headroom here, nice comfortable seating. Uh, and then another flat screen television here. You've got uh, more USB charging ports, whole side windows for natural lighting during the day. Uh, but one thing I love is this transforms really quickly into an evening sleeping quarters. And you simply pull this filler cushion out, uh, set it down below this seat here, and then away you go. And this is just a really big sleeping area here. And I'm not quite sure what a, a king size bed measures out to, but it feels like three people, three full size people could easily fit down here. And again, great ventilation. They kind of thought of everything while engineering this. Uh, you've got a heat and air vent here, more storage up top here above the cabinetry here. But again, uh, very impressive what they're able to do uh, down below deck uh, in terms of square footage, engineering, design, and actual function. The bathroom, again, beauty everywhere you look. Lots of teak, custom teak wood uh, inside. Uh, beautiful tile flooring. Love the backsplash and the vessel style sink here. Great headroom, lots of elbow room. You've got hanging hooks. Just a really nice fit and finish. Again, storage got drawers and cabinet space. All right, next to the glass enclosure that you can opt for on the 36 Grand Coupe, maybe the biggest design feature or the departure from the 35 Sport Coupe to the 36 Grand Coupe is this walkthrough passage to the open bow or what will give you an open bow type seating experience. And this is so easy to do. And we've done this while underway, 25, 30 miles an hour, uh, there is a, a degree of safety and comfort that you feel walking out here with these high bow rails, making it really easy to come up here, sit down, grab a drink, put your phone uh, on the charger and listen to music as this becomes the best seat in the house. And uh, you can see the little jumper seat here is uh, in the upright position, but lots of versatility again here, but great place to lounge. And again, it's very comfortable, supportive. You've got a stainless steel grab handle here, stainless steel cup holders, um, and a very easy maneuverable walkway up to the bow here. And notice, as I came up here, there was only one step to get in and uh, onto this bridgeway uh, to get to the front of the boat. Controls here, if you're gonna be anchoring for the afternoon, uh, an on off switch, and then also an up and down for the windless anchor control. Nice touch with LED lighting there. Four cup holders here and four here on the lounger. Extra wide gunnels to get back and forth uh, from the bow to the stern area during docking or your tying fenders or lines. But I just love the view here looking back. And it's, it's really impressive 
when you try to wrap your mind around how you're able to utilize every square inch of this boat. So to come see one in person uh, or talk to us about any other regal inventory that we have in stock, you can call or text us anytime. 231-943-0333. We'll talk to you soon.